Welcome to Eat the Week, your weekly double down helping of all you can eat awesome. I'm Mike Trainer. Let's start with some news bites. In Iowa, a new twist on an old favorite is churning its way into the hearts of state fair attendees. To honor the butter cow's 100th birthday, they're selling butter on a stick at the Iowa State Fair. Larry Fife, the genius behind butter on a stick, first dips the butter in batter, then gives it a quick hot oil bath. But Larry's pretty sure the $4 item will be a juicy hit. And for $6, you can upgrade to the combo meal, which comes with a side of angioplasty. <laughs> but don't worry, folks, there are plenty of healthy options out there for you and your kids, like at this up-and-coming restaurant chain. To help in the fight against childhood obesity, McDonald's is changing the Happy Meal. The new Happy Meal, fewer fries and a side of apples in every kid's meal. You know what, McDonald's? We know where to get apples. That's not why we're here. And now the part of the show where we see how much we can make fun of our bosses and still keep our jobs. That's right, it's time for Biting the Hand That Feeds. On the season finale of the next Food Network star, the two finalists shot their own pilots, directed by Guy Fieri. Action. Jeff, the self-proclaimed sandwich king, had some trouble at first. And we're gonna pound it. <laughs> boom. We're gonna add a little bit more oil. Boom. Right, once that's gone, boom. We're gonna lay down these medallions on there. Boom, perfect though. Boom, why not? Boom, boom, boom. Cut. Am I in trouble? Do you think you're in trouble? Yeah, Jeff, the last thing you wanna do is create a cheap, repeatable catchphrase. Otherwise, you might become the most famous TV chef ever. Ba bam but Jeff isn't the only one searching for Food Network glory. The culinary stars of tomorrow are also facing off on Extreme Chef. For your first challenge, you'll be making a hearty breakfast. Sourcing your ingredients, however, will not be easy because you must run through a cropsicle course. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If a guy can't sprint on a balance beam, how's he gonna make my brunch? On this week's episode, one chef named Joe doesn't seem too happy to be there, especially when it's time to get some fresh milk. Is this in my contract? <laughs> yeah, have fun. Seriously. So. You're walking away? Seriously, man, I'm not gonna get kicked by a cow. Are you still whining about that cow? Excuse me. It's not happening. Oh, I'm lactose intolerant over here. If I want to hang out with a cow, I'll swing by your mother's house. Ow! The cow almost kicked me. It's recently been brought to my attention their food shows on channels not named food or cooking. Let's rip the lid off them. On Bravo's Rocco's Dinner Party, chefs prepare competing meals for the guests of Rocco Despirito, who's handsome even by Bravo man standards. All the chefs on his show are really confident. One guy named Bill is already making post-victory plans. If I win, I might propose to my girlfriend, but don't say anything. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Do you think he has a ring picked out? How's he gonna ask her? My friend wrote it in the sand at the beach. It was so romantic. Bill, this party will continue without you. I was just saying that to make the show more intense. Who cares if all your friends were watching? What the f***? You know, uh, seriously, Rocco, you're gonna regret that decision. Speaking of cursing, where the f*** We are in the f real world now. You don't know when the dog was cooked? My favorite Ramsey show is Kitchen Nightmares, where he tells restaurant owners they suck. Are you stupid? I am not stupid. Like these two brothers in New Orleans. But you are a busy idiot. I don't think he gets it that he needs to watch his language. He's British. Busy idiot over there means something totally different over here. Busy idiot is a compliment? It's a compliment. He's from British. He doesn't speak English. <laughs> yeah, of course he's from British. Where is that on the map again? Oh, I love the pizza in Southern British. I will stand up, beat the out of him, and show him who the idiot is. And now it's time for What the Fork? If you like food, but love psychological problems, TLC has a new show for you. It's called Freaky Eaters. 31-year-old Whitney has been unable to eat any solid food for 18 months. She can only drink liquids. She lost a staggering 150 pounds in just five months. 
I don't buy it. There are plenty of people who only consume liquids for five months and don't lose that kind of weight. How do you think this guy keeps his physique? The only way she can eat with her family is to chew her food and then spit it into a cup. Okay, step one, stop using a clear glass. Step two, get TLC out of your house. The gang over at the Travel Channel's Truck Stop Missouri has cooked up a new way to attract customers. You have one hour to eat 70 ounces of our famous sausage gravy over seven buttery biscuits. It's the most expensive item on our menu, and if they can't eat it, they pay for it. I either make money or I have one proud customer who's going to spread the good word about Midway. You gotta check out this rest stop, man. They gave me four and a half pounds of food for free. What was it? It was mostly gravy. Why, why do you ask? Well, where are you going? I'm just trying to tell you where to find more people like me. That's just wrong. So what's the moral of our story? There's a lot of food programming, but just like with Jell-O, there's always room for some more. And also like Jell-O, you really don't want to know how most of it gets made. This has been Eat the Week. Eat well out there, folks. I'm Mike Trainer, and I'm thinking burritos for lunch.